previously on Launch Control. A single month into the 2014 calendar, and Subaru Rally Team USA has already built, tested, and competed in their redesigned rally car. The team got its first look at the all-new 2015 STI production car. Like it? Great, yeah. And another evolution of development on the global rallycross cars began. The year started off with a dominant win by David Higgins and Craig Drew at the first Rally America event of the season. Points are in the bag now and away we go. For Craig Drew and David Higgins! But it's the approaching return of four-time Rally champion and X Games legend Travis Pastrana that has the team buzzing. This is Launch Control. The 2014 Global Rallycross season is still two months away. Winter conditions in Vermont are less than ideal for preseason testing. So the team is here in Atlanta, Georgia. Donuts with a side of donuts. <laughs> this is the second preseason test for the GRC cars. And with over 300 laps already completed, the team has developed a very reliable car to work from. This test is about finding speed. Anytime you come to testing, you're here to find out what exactly doesn't work just as much as you are to find out what does work. We look for to find a lot of traction. We need traction to move the car and find the right suspension, springs, diffs. Sfera Isaksen will pilot an all-new car this season featuring several concepts that the team ultimately intends to use on the 2015 STI. Right now, Sphere's in a new chassis car. Because it's a Subaru, and, uh, and nobody has made a Subaru what we have done now with my car. While Bucky Lasik will drive the car he affectionately named Betty last year. Betty went into the shop, uh, the boys of Vermont, gave her a little plastic surgery, got her all nipped and tucked up, made some major modifications to her. Betty 2.0 has new upgrades and revisions over the 2013 specification, and the team is eager to test it side by side with Sphere's chassis. The idea is to learn from both chassis, then lend from one to the other to make the ultimate rallycross machines. So close on the times, the potential is there. Just yes. David Higgins is also on hand. He's here to work with the team and offer his expertise to the engineers. The team have made you know tremendous gains in, in drivability in the car and it's much much easier to drive on the on the power delivery that's going to help massively especially when you get into a racing situation it's never been able to handle its own power it's always been nothing on the bottom and too much at top and now the engineers they found the sweet spot in the ecu the mapping is awesome the reliability in the motor is insane uh, i've been ringing out betty for the last three days and she just wants more, so we're just throwing more at her, and she's taking it. To say the team is happy with the progress would be an understatement. We have test now around 400 laps, so it's really, really good. Uh, I'm really satisfied so far. I'm at an all-time high. Coming from these last three days of practice, I feel like I just won the X Games when I step out of the car. That's how excited and happy I am. I like it, but the only subject we have to discuss is the cooking. I know, it's good. I was glad to be able to cook for the guys. You know, I cooked some Maryland steamed shrimp. Walmart Maryland jumbo shrimp. It's just impossible to drive and cook at the same time. Yeah, it's much more Hey, can someone check my shrimp? Put it on simmer. No very easy way to win in GRC, not at all. I think it's higher level this year than what we have last year, and I like that. You know, we're really finding time in the car now rather than just finding confidence and reliability, which is, you know, is, a, is a big plus for the drivers to be able to go out there on the track and know they can drive 100% and know that the, the kit behind them is going to hold up to it. Spirit's high, and uh, it'll come. It's going to come, and it is coming. You 
know, I believe Bucky's gone to a new level now with his driving, and he's got much more confidence. He, you know, there's no doubt about it. When he swings a good lap together, it's as good as anybody. It's given him the confidence now that he can go out and do that lap after lap. After three full days and hundreds of laps without any major technical problems, the test ends with both cars posting similar lap times. Some friendly one-upmanship and tire slaying from the drivers is probably the clearest testament to their confidence in the cars. The team will leave Atlanta with high hopes for the season ahead. Flashback to July 31st, 2011. The venue, X Games 17. Travis Pastrana arrived at the Subaru paddock on crutches and in pain. Just two nights earlier, he shattered bones in his lower leg while attempting to win the Freestyle Moto Best Trick competition. This is Travis Pastrana, a never-say-never, in-it-to-win-it X Games legend. His hope for an X Games medal on two wheels was over. But Travis and the Vermont sports car crew hadn't given up on rallycross. Dumb idea number 10,254, but hey, we're at X Games. This is an awesome event. Um, Doc says he's got to fix it anyway. They need pins and plates all over that leg. So um, if I can tolerate the pain and I can figure out how to drive, uh, <laughs> which sucks too because it's hand controls and this knuckle keeps just getting, but you know, details, details, details. Um, I don't know. It'll be fun. Um, it'll be a lot of pain, but it'll be, uh, I mean, we're here. We're here to race, we're here to compete. Um, I don't know if I'll pass uh, X Games Medical, I don't know if I'll be able to be competitive, and I don't know if I can withstand the pain, but if we don't try, then we'll never know, so. While Travis was in the hospital, the team began to custom build hand controls to operate the throttle on his Subaru. At the time, this was just another step in a long relationship between Travis and Vermont Sports Car. Prototype ready? Prototype ready. They were there when Travis got his start in rally. The relationship is more than business. There is a respect and admiration for each other. After all, their cars kept him safe when he needed it most. And in turn, Travis built Subaru Rally Team USA, a long list of accolades. Bringing mainstream coverage and his fans to the sport of rally, he'd go on to win four X Games Rally medals and four consecutive Rally America championships, all behind the wheel of the Subaru. Travis's physical strength is only outmatched by his mental determination and ability to focus. He'll need that this weekend to adjust to an entirely new way of driving. In just hours, the team cleverly fabricates a new steering wheel with hand throttle controls to make up for what his shattered leg can no longer do. Clearly in pain, Travis takes to the driver's seat. All things considered, his pace is excellent. And he finds himself in third place on the final lap, with only a few corners left to race. But it was not to be. A slip of the hand, and Travis's race is over. The pain of an X Games bronze medal slipping from his grasp is easily overshadowed by the pain of the impact on his leg. This is the last time Travis would drive for Subaru, leaving Rally for an opportunity in NASCAR. That is, until February 19th, 2014. In Missouri, two days before his first rally in over three years, Travis finds himself working next to his once replacement, now teammate, David Higgins. Travis returns with four championships to his name, while David has five 
and is defending his third straight title. David's experience and knowledge will be important to Travis, who knows he's playing catch up. I don't know if I'm allowed to listen to this, but he's a good teacher, so I'm gonna jump on in. But Travis's return to rally is not dissimilar to that day at X Games 17. Travis is again nursing a badly damaged leg. Oh, you got a plate in there. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's actually. What you do to yourself. <laughs> so that was. That's that leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> Doctors oh, have cleared awesome. him to walk and compete, <laughs> but he'll be dealing with a sturdy brace and a degree of pain. <laughs> oh, well, you won at Snowdrift with a collar you know. So you should at least finish on the podium here. The team modifies his new Subaru to make him more comfortable and he aims to just get through his shakedown runs. The Rally America Championship has changed during Travis's absence. The cars are faster, the competition more intense, and writing detailed pace notes to match the speed is critical. just got so much power, it's so, so loud. <laughs> I couldn't imagine a group B. The majority of the pre-rally testing duties are handled by David Higgins. Do you get any feeling for the chassis balance? Just give me what David's got, but if, he, if he doesn't mind, and we'll be solid. Travis will defer to David's experience for a baseline setup, and he will ensure both cars are ready to start the rally. It's race day in Missouri. Cars are lined up for the rally in the 100-acre wood. Fans are out in force, and so is the competition. Last year's championship rival, Ken Block, is on the entry list this weekend. Block has won this event six times, and his loss to David Higgins last year is something he wants to avenge. Series regulars Antoine Lestage and Subaru privateer Adam Yeoman are also among the strong field of competitors. Sometimes if I'm off the break a little soon. Yeah, this event is by far the fastest event of the year. Um, it's an event that we really, really enjoy. We know what our job is. We're going to come here, we're going to try and win like we did last year and uh, leave all the autograph sign into the others. It's great to have Travis back in the car. He brings a lot to the team and you know, it's, it's great from my point of view to have a teammate when we test and we can try different things. Travis arrives at Park Expose and is instantly surrounded by media and fans, eager to get their first glimpse of the returning star. Travis Estrada back here in Rally since, what, 2011? Yeah, no, it's, it's been a while, man. I'm really excited to get back here. It's cool, because back in the Subaru, um, you know, these cars are a lot faster in Rally America than, than they were when I was racing. Uh, a lot more competition, so it's going to be really cool to get back in. And now I have a new co-driver with Chrissy Beavis, so we've got a lot to catch up on. But when all the autographs are done, and the fanfare has subsided, it all comes down to who is fastest on the road. Whether the motivation is simply a personal best, One the top step of the podium, 30. easing back into the sport, 20. or defending a championship title, 10. it all starts the same way. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Next time, two days of racing at the rally in the 100 Acre Wood bring some unexpected twists and turns. We're definitely off the pace. Uh, we got a long way to come back to. It's just stupid mistakes so early on is a bit annoying. Two Subarus will start, one will finish. That's next time on Launch Control. Jumbo Scramp Hon! Can you guys smell that? Here. Let me give you a little scratch and sniff. <laughs>